Ronald Rosenberger, a University of Virginia student, wanted to publish a Christian newspaper with university funding. The university, as a public institution, didn't want to sponsor religious expression. So what happens when free speech meets the Establishment Clause? Rosenberger versus Rector and Visitors of University of Virginia considers that conundrum. Rosenberger started a student organization called Wide Awake Productions, or WAP, which published an evangelical Christian newspaper called Wide Awake. The university collected a small mandatory fee from its students that went into its student activities fund. The fund paid printing costs for groups that were designated student news organizations. WAP submitted a request for the cost of printing Wide Awake. Its request was denied because the fund's guidelines didn't allow subsidizing religious activity. WAP unsuccessfully appealed to the university. WAP then sued the university in district court, alleging that the fund's refusal to pay WAP's printing costs violated its free speech rights. The district court granted the university's motion for summary judgment. The Fourth Circuit affirmed the district court and ruled that although the university had violated WAP's right to free speech, its action was justified by its compelling interest in not violating the Establishment Clause. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.